everyone, so today's I Covered June is a little bit of a birthday special because it's actually my birthday today. Technically it was my birthday yesterday because you're watching this on Sunday, but this is generally just my birthday weekend. So I was sitting down to do my makeup and I thought, why not just do it on camera so I can show you what makeup I'm wearing for my birthday. And I'm not really going anywhere special, I'm having a pretty low key birthday, but I still wanted to do something a little bit different, a bit more kind of special occasionally. Um, so there is some glitter here, but generally this is my kind of everyday makeup, just a little bit more glammed up. I guess you could say. So I'm just gonna sit here and do my makeup with you. So I'm gonna start with the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I picked this up in Paris and this will be the second time that I'm using this. So far I have to say I do actually quite like this. It's not as full coverage as I thought it would be, um, but a few of you guys commented that this is actually a different version. They've changed it now, which is always a little bit frustrating, but actually it's a very buildable coverage and it's a very thin formula, so you can kind of put quite a bit of this on to really get that amount of coverage that you need or that you want, and it still doesn't feel heavy or cakey on your skin, so that is what I've chosen to use today. And I'm also using it on the little Sephora 57 brush that I also picked up recently, and I really, really like this. It's kind of like a combination of all my favorite brushes, so it's a little bit like the Real Techniques buffing brush and a little bit like their Expert Face brush as well, and it's also a smaller version of the Sephora Airbrush Foundation brush. My skin is really quite uneven at the moment. It's looking a bit red and blotchy for some reason, not sure why, um, so I'm gonna use a good helping of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I also picked this up at the same time I got the foundation, and I'm still kind of coming to terms with how to use Use this. As you can see I just put way too much on. It's got a very funny little applicator so you can really put more than you need, way way more than you need because this is such a pigmented really intense concealer. I think this would probably work a lot better if you had it on the back of your hand and just took a little bit at a time. Obviously I didn't think about that before I went and put it all over my face but it does do such a good job of brightening but also correcting and concealing at the same time. I really really like this concealer. So you really do need to set this concealer or it is going to crease everywhere. So I'm using the powder duo from Bare Minerals and I'm going to use the glowier side. This still is a really great setting powder but it just takes that kind of matte edge off a little bit because it is slightly radiant and slightly glowy. So I'm gonna use a liquid cream bronzer. This is from L'Oreal and it's the Cushion de Soleil. This is basically their cushion foundation but in a bronzer formula. And as soon as I heard about this, I just loved the whole idea of it because I do really enjoy creamy bronzer formulas. So this I'm just gonna take on Beauty Blender and kind of press it in just a little bit because this stuff is really pigmented. You do not need a lot. And then build that color up just on my cheeks and take it up around my temples as well and just kind of on the outside of my face. I really, really like the color of this. It's a really nice kind of sheer but creamy bronzer. It's really pretty. You can see how pigmented this is. It's really intense, but it actually blends out really easily, especially if you're using a beauty blender with this. I find it just presses into the skin really nicely. I love how natural and golden that looks. It's a really lovely color. Um, so I'm gonna go back in with the powder and just set everything back in in place um, and just kind of take it on a really fluffy brush and press it all over the top of the cream bronzer. Of course I'm using my Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Face Palette. I am so into this. It's literally all I have used since I got it for blusher and for highlighter. And my favorite way to wear it is actually the way I did it in my first impressions video. So I take this color here, which is called Amaretto, and basically use it to build up a base. So I just pop that onto my cheeks. And then I put Rosé Spritz on the top, which is a really shimmery, kind of golden, rosy color. It's so, so pretty. And I've been being quite liberal with my blush. I've been enjoying I'm wearing quite a lot of the stuff. And then I'm actually gonna mix Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop just to give a kind of golden but peachy highlight. And then put that down the center of my nose and on my cheekbones, basically all over my face. I actually really like the combination of those two. It gives a really pretty highlight color. Gonna quickly whiz through brows because you all know I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is my favorite, favorite brow product. And actually taupe is a little bit lighter than I would usually have gone for, but I've kind of been going for still quite a bold brow, but more natural in that it's not quite as dark as I'm used to. So then for the fun part, the glitter, I actually showed this palette again in my Sephora haul and um, I kind of made myself a little trio of glitter. So this is actually a customizable palette, picked up three different glittery eyeshadows from the Sephora range and I am so excited to use them. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but I am going to kind of lay down a base colour first. So I've also got my MAC palette here. I'm going to use the shade Cork just to give me a nice kind of crease colour to add some definition in there um, and make my eyes look a little bit less puffier than they are because they are really really puffy at the moment for some reason. Not sure why, I probably haven't been sleeping very well this month. Cork is one of my favorite crease colors. I always go for this. It's just a really nice mid-tone 
blendable, matte brown, it's all good things. And I think I'm also gonna just take a tiny, tiny little bit of Embark, and this is a similar kind of matte brown, but it's just a little bit darker, a bit more cool toned. And I'm just gonna really kind of emphasize the outer portion there, so just keep my crease a little bit more defined and a bit darker just on the outer half. I'm gonna start with this one here, which is Lucky Penny. It's kind of like a pinky coppery tone. And just kind of lay that down all over my lid. And then I'm gonna use the darker brown, which is called Hollywood Calling. This has a little bit more of a gold glitter in it. So this I'm gonna, again, use on that kind of outer half of my eye. It's actually a little bit warm tone and a bit bronzy as well. I love this colour. This is actually the first one I swatched in the store and I just sort of ran straight for it because it was so pretty. And then the lightest shade, which is called Ballet Shoes, I think I'm actually going to take just onto my finger and then press it right on the inner kind of corner of my eye, so into the tear duct and then just a little bit on the lid as well. And then I'm just going to really, really blend all of that together so everything is really nice and smooth. Nice and blended and there's no kind of harsh edges of glitter anywhere. Okay, that is my eyeshadow. I'm actually going to put a tiny bit of cork just underneath my eye as well, just to kind of finish everything off. So I think I am going to put a tiny little bit of eyeliner on. I say tiny, but things could go wrong and I could end up with a massive, massive wing. So wish me luck. And for this I'm using the Balm Schwing Liner. This has become my favourite eyeliner. It's so good. It's so intense and black and really, really matte as well, which I love from a liquid liner. And it goes on so easily. I really, really like the applicator for this as well. Yeah, that is a lot of liner. Okay, we'll go with it, that's fine. If you can't make glitter and massive wing liner on your birthday, then can you? So to finish that off, I'm just gonna pop on some mascara. I'm still really using and loving this Tarte little duo. So it's the Lights, Camera, Lashes mascara, but it also has a little bottom lash mascara at the other end, which is a really good formula, actually. It's very long lasting and it doesn't smudge underneath my eyes. Um, and the actual formula of the proper mascara is also very defining and very thickening and volumizing as well, so I really like this. So to finish off, I'm going to use one of my favourite, favourite lip products at the moment, and this is from Giorgio Armani. It's the Lip by Stroke number 500, and I find myself wearing this so, so often. It's such a pretty pink. At first I wasn't sure about the formula of these, but they are so creamy and so rich and pigmented, but they kind of act a little bit like a liquid lip gloss in that they stay on for so long, and they definitely set down, but they stay really hydrated and really comfortable. So I love these and in particular this colour. I think it's such a pretty shade. So that's my birthday makeup look done I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me today I'm gonna go off now and eat lots of cake and donuts Thank you all so much as well for the birthday wishes that I've been getting already You guys are so lovely and so sweet and I hope you all have an amazing Sunday So thank you for watching that is it for me today, and I will see you all soon. Bye